when you're walking through some of these doors and facing these people that you've been tracking and you know that they're there for these insidious reasons, are, are you nervous? Like, are you heart pumping? Like, oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, did I, that go away or subside with time? It, it, you manage it, you know. But I've learned, you know, from from sources in law enforcement and, and people who do things like I do. The day you get lazy and think that, or not lazy, but you know, lacks about procedure and, and you're not completely focused, that's when stuff happens that you don't want to happen. So I'm always aware Vigilant. of the situation, but it happens quickly. And you're looking at the man's hands, you're looking at the body language. And again, law enforcement's very close by. Yeah. We have this set up to be absolutely as safe as it can possibly be. But there's no doubt that the inherent risk is part of what draws people to watch it. Sure. And we are covering the commission of a felony. So, you know, there's there's inherent risk here. But I think for what it is, we make it absolutely as safe as possible. And I've, you know, the times I've almost got my ass kicked, we're not doing predator stories or going over to Cambodia to expose child sex trafficking or going to Africa to expose, you know, Al-Qaeda dealing in blood time. It's the most uh, danger I've ever been is, you know, exposing a bike thief in, in uh, Greenwich Village and, you know, going after a counterfeit phone part salesman in a mall in Connecticut. Those are the last two <laughs> times that I almost got, you know, into a fight. So go figure, you know. <laughs> I just always find that ironic. Yeah. You know? The seemingly like, least dangerous on. ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're in Connecticut, all right. You know? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic.